Hi, I'm Kimberly Bean with the Southern Maryland Real Estate Network, and today my special guest is Steve Welch with Southern Pride Service, a local air conditioning, heating, and commercial refrigeration company right here in Southern Maryland. So stay tuned, we'll be right back. Hi everyone, welcome back. Today our special guest is Steve Welch with Southern Pride Service, a local air conditioning, heating, and commercial refrigeration company right here in Southern Maryland. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having us. Can you tell Thanks. us a little bit about Southern Pride Service? Uh, yes, we are locally owned. Um, I own it locally here in the area. Uh, we started in 1993. Um, we have a shop in uh, White Plains now, in the Bar Business Park. 4,000 square foot, we do fabricated duct. Okay, and what type of services um, do you offer? Is it residential, commercial? Yeah, we do a complete line of residential and commercial service and refrigeration service for restaurants and commercial. Buildings. Excellent. Do you um, service a specific line of products or um, you know install for new type sales? We service any brand that's out there. Uh, we support the American Standard brand. Okay, excellent. Uh, but we can we have available to us any brand that okay we like so pretty much any type of service that's needed on any type of brand you guys can service yes. it okay yeah, we have the ability i'm going to uh focus on sort of a residential question because i know that there's a lot of viewers out there that probably have the same question as i do um, but with regard to trying to save some money on our electric bills is there some advice that you can give to homeowners my suggestion is uh, make sure that the house is, is sealed up pretty good. Uh, insulation, the windows, the doors, um, that's the important thing is the envelope that we're trying to heat and cool has to be a tight envelope. Okay. Um, make sure your equipment is serviced regularly, uh, filters clean, coils clean. I always hear about that, changing your filters. Yes. How often should we be changing our filters? We need to look at them at least once a month. Okay. You know, find a date on the calendar that reminds you to look at them. You don't have to change them every month. Right. If they're a little dusty, that's fine. But okay. if they start to get tight and you can look at them, look at it through a light. If you can't see the light, then you need to change the filter. Okay, excellent. Um, and so make sure your house is tightened with the insulation and your windows and things are tight and stuff. Um, yeah, windows are closed. I have, for an example, a home that was built in 1998 and recently my electric bills sort of skyrocketed. I know some of it has to do with the extreme temperatures that we're having, but mm -hmm. um, should I look into possibly, um, you know, servicing or looking at a different type of uh, product that may help with my energy savings? Well, that, that's a good question. Uh, I guess the first question you'd have to ask yourself, is, do you plan on staying in that home? Okay. Okay, if you look to stay in the home another 10 years, then it would be an investment to you to look at upgrading the heating and air conditioning. Equipment. Okay. Uh, and again, make sure it's serviced correctly. Okay, excellent. And so the latest buzzword that I've heard in your industry is geothermal. <laughs> what yes. the heck is it and uh, how does it actually save us money? It's geothermal is absorbing the heat from the ground. Ground is naturally 56 degrees in this area year round. Uh, at six feet down. Okay. So yeah. normally it's outside of the ground. Are the systems that we're using, you're saying this type of system is underground? Conventional air conditioning or heat pumps. Conventional heat pumps use the surrounding air okay. and absorb the heat from that air, where the uh, geothermal absorbs the heat from the ground. Okay. Is that an expensive process for somebody that wants to switch over to that type of it um, can heating? It can be. It's normally double of what the conventional air okay. conditioning or heat heating system cost today. But the benefit be. is that in the long run, that's where your savings comes in. You have right? savings plus comfort. Okay. The comfort with the geothermal is, I would say, 50 to 75 percent better than the conventional heating system. Okay, excellent. Um, so I have a question about uh, uh, rebates. I okay. keep hearing about Energy Star and having certain products, I guess, that save energy or qualify for certain types of rebates. And you had mentioned earlier to me that um, you can get quite a bit of savings by using the, the right products, correct? Correct. Yeah, the, the government, the, the EPA has put um, SEER ratings on, on our equipment that we sell today. 
and based on the SEER rating is how much money you could get back as a rebate. Uh, manufacturers are giving out rebates. The utility companies are giving out rebates. Okay. The state states have some grant programs that they're giving money back. So it's based on what you install. Okay. Or so what, they, what you buy. where could somebody find some information about how they could save on this? Uh, Maryland.org is the website for the state. Uh, the federal is. I'm not sure exactly what okay, it's for the federal. Okay, what it is. But uh, we could probably Smeco, look at, I was going to say at Smeco, they probably Smeco give some information because that. that's our lo one mm -hmm. of our local companies. Mm -hmm. um, so that's good information to have. We're always uh, looking to for ways on how we can save money or get money back, right, yes. that we're putting mm -hmm. out. Um, do you offer emergency service for people? Yes, yes. We have a 24-hour uh, monitor on our phone okay. system that automatically, if you leave an emergency message, it automatically uh, calls one of our technicians. Oh, okay, That's so they can come call. out. So when we get some of these cold nights like we've had before and my system were to go down, I could call that number and get you service. Could. Yes. Great. Well, uh, I appreciate that you took the time to come in and see us today. If okay. people want to get more information about your company, what's the best way to do that? Um, we are advertised in the local paper. Mm -hmm. uh, and you we have, have a, website. a website. What's that web address? Uh, www.southernprideservice.com. Okay, excellent. And a phone number? 301. Or, I'm sorry, I'll give you an 800 number. Okay. 1-800-936-COOL. Excellent. We'll have that information below on this video. Thanks again so much for being with us okay. um, today. We really Thanks appreciate the advice that you've given us. And uh, we will see everyone next time. Thanks so much for watching. We like to produce these segments specifically to provide you with information and resources that you need to help making the home buying and home selling process much easier. If there's anything that you'd like us to address in a future segment, visit our website at somdrealestatenetwork.com or we're on Facebook or you can even find us on Twitter. But let us know what you'd like to know more about and we'll try and address them in a future segment. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.